Avanil Kumar sharing with you a question on limits. We'll find limit when x approaches positive infinity and when x approaches negative infinity for the function which is square root of 2x squared plus 1 divided by 3x minus 5. As you know, if the limit exists, that means as x approaches infinity, function is approaching a value, then that value will give horizontal asymptote. So remember, that is the connection between limits at infinity and horizontal asymptote. Okay, now let's figure out what is the limit of this function. So we are given limit x approaches infinity for square root of 2x squared plus 1 divided by 3x minus 5. So first step, which is very critical step for us, is within the square root, I will take this x square thing common right that is what i'm going to do so within the square root i'm going to take x square thing common right so that's what i'm going to do so here when i take x square common in that case what i get here is 2 and then i get plus 1 over x square square root right so you have to divide by x square both the terms you get 2 plus 1 over x square and then you get divided by we have 3x minus 5 now the question is what is square root of x square so we have limit x approaches infinity square root of x square is absolute value of x so we get absolute value of x and within the square root we get 2 plus 1 over x square divided by 3x minus 5. Do you see that? Now when we are approaching positive infinity, what happens to absolute value of x? Uh, let us look into the definition of x. Absolute value of x is equal to positive x when x is greater than or equal to 0 and it's negative x when x is less than 0. Since you are approaching infinity, positive absolute x is positive x right so we could write this as equal to limit x approaches infinity positive x square root of 2 plus 1 over x square divided by 3 so what i will do here also is i will take x common right so so i'll take x common let me write 3 here let me take x common so i get 3 minus 5 over x it does make sense to you so i took x common also from the denominator wrote it as 3 minus 5 over x now if x is approaching a very very large number then 1 over x square and 5 over x will approach 0 and therefore and we could write this as and let me cancel these x's also right so let me simplify this so we're left with this expression when x is approaching a large number, 1 over x square approaches 0. So we are left with square root 2 in the numerator and 3 in the denominator. Do you see that? So limit of this function is indeed equal to square root 2 over 3. As x approaches positive infinity, right? So it is important to note that we could take this infinity inside since the limit x approaches infinity for 1 over x square is 0 and the limit x approaches infinity for 5 over x is also 0 right therefore the limit of this function is square root 2 over 3 right okay uh, so that is how we find the limit as x approaches positive infinity right now let me do the right side and see what answer do we get there so here we have a horizontal asymptote so let me add that remarks here so what we see that we have a horizontal asymptote whose equation is y equals to square root 2 over 3 okay so this is in addition to finding limits okay now let's look into this equation we could we'll follow the same process so let me write here limit x approaches negative infinity we'll take x square common so we get 2 
plus 1 over x square, right? And here we could take x common and we write 3 minus 5. So that gives you a limit. x approaches negative infinity. Bringing this out, we get absolute value of x. And we have 2 plus 1 over x square, square root, right? Divided by x, 3 minus 5 over x, I'm sorry, over x, right? Since we took x common. Now, if x is approaching negative infinity, absolute x approaches negative x. So, so what we have here is, as x approaches negative infinity, we have a minus x here, right? And within square root, 2 plus 1 over x square divided by x, 3 minus 5 over x, right? So let me uh, write this expression using the properties of limits. I did a kind of a shortcut here. So first let me cancel these x out. So we get negative number here. So we have negative and within limits we can write limit x approaches minus infinity for the number 2 plus limit x approaches negative infinity for 1 over x square, right? So all this divided by uh, limit x approaches negative infinity for 3 minus limit x approaches negative infinity for 5 over x, right? So that is the denominator. Now clearly you can see this is a constant, so we get negative square root 2 in the numerator. This number 1 over x square approaches 0 for a very large value and for the denominator 3, so it approaches 3 and this part is 0. So we get minus square root 2 over 3. So this limit is equals to minus square root 2 over 3. So in this particular case, we have two horizontal asymptotes. So the other one here is at y equals to minus square root 2 over 3. Do you see that? So a function can actually have uh, two horizontal asymptotes. That's maximum a function can have. So approaching positive or negative infinity may yield different results as you see in this particular video. I am Anil Kumar and I hope you appreciate it. You can always share and subscribe my videos for free. And if you like, you can put some likes. Thank you and all the best.